you know, going through all of this equipment, and I didn't even know what I was doing. I didn't know settings. I didn't. I, I, I didn't know anything about off-camera lighting, and the off-camera lighting photos that I took that day were terrible. They were ugly. They were hideous, and uh, and I pretty much ruined that engagement session because I was trying to be somebody. That he didn't know who I wanted to be. I was trying to speak with a voice and a language that I didn't even know. So today I want to talk about developing a consistent aesthetic in your imagery. Hey guys, what's going on? Scott Andrew Shoemake, and yes, I'm back on YouTube. This is really happening. I can't believe it, but I'm ready to bring you back a bunch of content, a bunch of value, and today we're going to start out with a big topic. Do you want to be like the best of the best of the best in your niche, in your photographic community, in your industry? Uh, probably, right? You want to be the best. You want to be able to command high rates and you want to be able to get paid for what you're worth and you want to be able to be respected by peers and by others that would hire you and all of that, right? Well, there's a common variable that we're going to talk to you and uh, we're actually going to sit down at the computer and go through some edits and some presets and talk about some things and I'm going to take you on a little journey of my work of how it was um, yeah, go ahead and say it. Complete trash. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I was doing my best when I first started and it was kind of all over the place, but my rates were really low and I could never really get them to the place I wanted to be until I figured out this one thing. So let's jump into the video and let's start talking about one thing that can help you climb the ladder of being able to charge more, be respected, and, uh, and, and truly be that dream doer type of photographer. All right, you guys ready? Oh, did I just did I just tease the title of the new Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Roll intro. Imagery. There's a few things that factor into this. Number one, um, your gear, right? That's gonna be a huge thing. We're not gonna talk about so much about gear today. We'll do that in a future episode. Um, if if you're really hungry to see that, make sure type a comment, put a comment below and just be like, yes. How do I get consistent? What gear do I need? Um, we can talk about that a little bit. Your gear is a huge thing. Um, the, the type of clientele you have, a lot of people think that's a big thing. I don't think it's necessarily a big thing um, because you can, you can shoot different people in different type of ways and as the artist, you're literally manipulating the way they look. Does that make sense? That's why two different photographers can shoot the same subject and they'll look completely different. Why? Because of the artist manipulation. Oh, yeah. So, one of the biggest factors is the artist manipulation. And we know that as uh, how we edit and process and color correct and do all of the little things in our photographs to get that highly stylized look that we're going for that really resonate. It wasn't until I developed a consistent aesthetic that I've started to find my voice and be like, this is who I am. This is what my work looks like. It's consistent. And then, pshoom, magically, what happened after that was clients started to take notice. And they were like, oh my goodness, that's a Scott Andrew photo. And so that started happening. I got known for a signature style that became my own. Why? Because it was my own language that I had developed. If you want to get to that point, you can. Here's a few things in your editing that you that we're going to talk about we're going to cover that you can do to make your voice stand out in a very cluttered industry ready let's jump in okay guys we are in lightroom and as you can see we are looking at a gorgeous scott andrew studio signature image okay not really but uh this is one of the first weddings that i shot so this is a throwback to like 12 13 years ago something like that and we are looking at an image that is sepia toned not true black and white heavy on the vignette what is going on here this is what my images used to look like and so you go from this to the engagement session this is the one that i was telling you about i was driving down to san diego trying to figure out off camera flash which is why this looks so bad um and and literally not knowing what i was doing here's one from their wedding as you can tell 
Uh, look at the flash looks great here. It looks terrible on the sides. Did not know what I was doing. If anybody knows any of these couples that I photographed way back in the day, um, please ask their forgiveness from me. Uh, just kidding. No, it was I was doing the best with what I had, and I wasn't getting paid all that much back then. So what was going on here? Well, I was trying all kinds of different presets. I was trying all kinds of different styles and different aesthetics and looks. And as you can see, um, just going from this, oh, look at look at this vignette. I mean, beautiful setting, right? Lighting's amazing. You're in Yosemite. You're at Half Dome. You know, small ceremony, amazing. Could have done a lot better, right? Uh, here's an engagement session. I mean, you can see, here's me. Um, styling profiling as styles change right <laughs> um but anyway here's a couple photographs from this session things started to click in how i was shooting and how i was feeling the aesthetic wasn't quite there but it was getting there i would say this was a transformational shoot for me uh this was like okay i'm starting to get my bearings about me i'd been shooting for a little while and i was starting to figure things out but then at night i was still shooting off camera fly. yes this is the same couple same engagement session um some of you guys might recognize uh this guy this is r douglas clothier custom suit maker in la sacramento central valley anyway um moving on here's another here's a wedding um started to develop a look and a signature style that was my own it wasn't quite there today. there's still some yellow in here and as you can see in this photo still got some yellow that's a gray suit not a brown suit um, still some yellow in here, but my black and whites were getting better. The sepia tone was dying out. This one's a little flat as far as the, the contrast and stuff, but it was getting there. Then I shot an engagement session all on film right here. Um, I actually had a videographer come out with me and work with me on this one. And um, there was just something that really clicked about it. The images were consistent. The light and the tones looked natural and just had a had a great feel about it and i was like okay this is starting to feel like my look and as soon as i started to shoot that i began to shoot at weddings and uh, bring some film work and i'm not saying you have to shoot all film to have a consistent aesthetic i don't believe that at all um, because actually there's some great great film emulation out there um, which is one of the things i do now i'm a hybrid photographer i shoot film and digital so um, but shooting film at this wedding, um, you can see the look and the feel was consistent. And these are straight scans right from the lab. Um, and everything's looking the same. Storytelling, but also having beautiful um, editorial type images and, and things like that going on. So um, here's a wedding in Cabo. And, and as you can see, I mean, this wedding literally uh, could fit an Insta Instagram aesthetic. Once again, black and white film and just having that look, a little more contrast, just real to life, um, real to life images that are going on here. And when I began to shoot like this and when I began to put the pieces together, what happened in my business and what happened um, for me as a photographer was everything started to fall into place. People started seeing my work and being able to recognize it. People started to see my images and being like, oh my goodness, that's a Scott Andrew image. Um, and it not only helped me gain recognition among my peers, but brides and clients and uh, people that were going to hire me began to take notice and they were like, okay, we want that look, we want that image and we want that person whoever's behind those images to be our photographer so going back from this where I'm figuring out who I am and what I'm doing and just literally going from one look to another um, all the way to this where you could see this could literally fill an Instagram aesthetic and it would all look the same and have that similar feel it took a while it took some time but I tell you what it was intentional on my part I set out to do that I said you know what I want to find a look and a style and I want to stick with it so I would encourage you guys today uh, find a look and style that fits your vibe that fits your tribe that fits what you want to do stick with it grow into it refine it hone it 
get it. I'm, I'm not saying you have to shoot film. I'm not saying you have to even emulate film. But find the look that is truly you, that is that is serving the clients that you want to serve, and um, and and get it and dial it in. And I'm telling you, it's going to take your photography to the next level. It's going to take your business to the next level. All right. I hope that was fun today. Um, seriously, get ready. I've got scripts all over the place of videos that are going to come up. Um, I've got all kinds of topics. If you have a topic, um, drop it below. Uh, anything you want me to cover, we're going we're to talk about all kinds of things. And also, I'm putting a link below. Uh, just click that little that little upside down triangle. It'll drop the menu down and click that and go to the link that links up to the Facebook group. Just started a Facebook group called Dream Doers. Uh, photography and business growth. We're going to, we've already been, I should say, uh, providing intense value and their incredible value. And uh, and I want everybody to be a part of that. That's actually where I'm going to get a lot of content for this channel. So if you post in there, it's probably going to get played out first in here. All right, so jump in there. Um, see you guys in the next one. Who knows? It's going to be soon. Pretty excited, guys. All right, see ya. Bonus, describe your aesthetic in three words. Ready, set, go.